and welcome back. So, uh, what we want to do here is basically, uh, you know, I kind of I, I threw this banner in there as a header background, kind of that kind of made it feel like a blog, kind of like a WordPress thing, but you know, not really WordPress. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about that's the you know kind of the way I will take it as far as the layout goes. And so what I was doing, what I was thinking about doing is, you know, obviously usually a blog has a, a title and a subtitle or a title line and a tagline or something like that. So what we could do is um, basically um, you know, we can start from there and, you know, we can kind of put together a title line um, and then a tagline underneath it. So um, what we'll do is we'll do header title. All right. And underneath that, an H1 says, Welcome to the blog. All right, we'll save that out. And it's up in the upper left hand corner, so that's kind of what you would expect. Uh, down here, we'll do uh, Welcome to Tagline. All right, and so how we'll, what we'll do is we'll jump over the style here. Um, and underneath the wrapper, we'll put the uh, header title. Terrible typing already. All right, and we'll do width of 50%. And do a transform translate. Do 50% X and 0 Y. I should put the title right in the middle. All right. Um, we'll do a color of white. There we go. And what else can we do? We'll throw a little text shadow in there. Actually, let's target that with pseudo selectors. Um, so we'll do a font style. I'll do that for the selector too. All right, let's just take a look at the selectors. All right, so we want header title. We're going to do more with the tagline. All right, and so we'll do that. And then we'll do a text shadow. Pixel to pixel to pixel. We'll do C3, C3, C3. There a little bit of a I'll pop up to it, and we'll also do um, font style italic. There we go. And this should be this should also be text aligned. All right, so the translate 50 should put us at about 50%, pretty close to it. All right, so if we go to the end of the, the blog, we're at 360. And we're about 360 over here also. So good, we're good and centered. And uh, that was just, uh, what we can do is um, we need to add some vendor prefixes for this because I'm not sure that's supported with all of them. So we do a WebKit. Moz. All right. And so that puts us right in the middle. Um, still think it should probably be in the center of the pay, uh, the center of it. Um, so what we can do is wrapper title so padding top so 
say 75 pixels. All right, that's probably a little. And I'm just going to eye this up instead of figuring it out. 50 pixels looks good. All right, so we'll put that on the header title. pixels there we go so that's a nice little that's honestly what you would expect to see um, you could do a header background swap and uh, things like that you could uh, even with uh, with the way Jade works um, you could actually in here uh, instead of this you could do whatever it is, uh, site, title, um, you know, close out your PHP tags and have it pull it in dynamically if we were doing something like that. So um, that's available to you as well. Welcome to the blog. Uh, so being that it's completely, you know, accepting of code, of direct code if you want to, uh, you can kind of lay it out this way and then, you know, basically wherever you have, you know, placement text that you would normally have, you know, a PHP call or something like that, you would do uh, a very easily, very easily you could do a an include or whatever you needed to do with PHP to, to bring in dynamic content. All right, so that's kind of nice. That makes us look like, you know, that kind of brings it out to let it, you know, kind of... Um, you know, give us the basics for whatever we're going to do. I mean, if we wanted to, we could, you know, fill the header up with information. We could even do a, you know, box around that, you know, um, and put the text in a box and, you know, dress it up that way if we wanted to. Um, that's one way of, you know, of making things, you know, what we're after. Um, so what we can do here is in the, now that we're dropping down into the content, um, you would normally have a, a, a horizontal nav, so what I'm going to do is add a nav wrapper. All right, let's save that, make sure the code is good. And it is. And under header title, I'm going to do a header, sorry, nav wrapper. All right, save that. And inside the nav wrapper, uh, we're going to have a ul dot main menu. Okay, and then several LIs with links. Give us a little bit of a, a list, and we're seeing an error. Unexpected token tag. Text code. So 
after the first li. Oh, I should probably show you that the the debug, all right? And so the error is thrown here, uh, line 26. I'm not saying I expect a token, so it's not looking for that. That a tag. Save it again. Nope, still doesn't like it. Ah, that's probably it. Yep, and we're down to the next one. Oops. So, that's good to know. What's happening is, is it, and you can see the text bolding, uh, and this is, is I installed the syntax highlighter for Jade. Okay, so that's why there's a little bit of extra co uh, color syntax there. Without the space there, it's looking for that about to be an actual tag. So it's, uh, it's finishing the A tag, and then it's looking for the next tag. So without a space in between, uh, the about becomes the, an about tag, which doesn't exist. All right, so I've got a successful install. Okay, so now we have our navigation, all right? And so what we could do, uh, this is a, probably a good point to um, start with a mix-in, all right? So we can start a folder called mix-ins. And then in mix-ins, file called primary.jade all right and delete that all right and so what we'll do is uh, we need to include that mix ends slash primary I don't think you'll need, nope, you don't. You don't need the dot jade. Okay, and so what if we wanted to make sure um, that this menu was uh, dynamically changed, you know, like you would do a PHP includes? Well, the mix does the same, similar thing. All right, so what we could do is mix in, menu dash list. So we'll save that, and I believe the mix-in call is just plus menu list. Is that what we called it? Menu dash list, yeah. So we'll save it. Okay, and we see over here that nothing's changed. So we still have our menu. So that means that it's working. All right. So now, inside the menu, uh, we can continue to work on this and, like, just, you know, we want to make a little, a few more. So, uh, supply services. Shopping. Save. And we're updating. Okay. So now we have basically, if you look at the list, if you look at our uh, HTML, so we've done very low code and it's populated a list for us, given us a, a class, uh, given us an ID. And all of this, you know, really. Uh, well formed code to make it worth um, actually 
now we can leave it. Theoretically, we could put the UL call in there as well. Really not a big deal. Um, it would just save us one line of code. Okay. So if you're looking at, at making this as, as concise as possible, then it's a good idea to put the whole thing. Actually, might as well. All right. So we'll do that. Save. And so that saves us an extra line of code. So that's uh, I think that's a good point to stop at this point. Point and point. <laughs> that's pretty redundant. Uh, but it looks like a good place to stop. And uh, next point uh, will actually, uh, apparently I enjoy saying the word point. <laughs> the next video will take a look at some of the more advanced features. And we'll, uh, we'll kind of see what we can do as far as styling this thing up. All right. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this is uh, you're finding this informative. And uh, go ahead and leave me a like if you liked the video, and uh, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.